section, we'll see how to work on the buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing uh, for using button, instead of using text over here, we are going to use button. And so let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll just simply do like this. We'll keep it empty. And this is actually the closure. And this should be used when you tap on a button. But we'll keep that. We'll skip that for now. And over here, we'll have label. Now in the label, actually, you want to show the button itself, the button you want to show. So here I want to say button and you will see that, okay, now it's a button. But of course, how to prove that this is a button? There's no difference between this one and a text, right? Or a text view. So here actually we could do a print. So here we could say, I'm um, tapped. Now, if I'm going to say this on the console, this preview is not going to work. So I'm, I'm going to have to run it on simulator. So I'll hit Command R. Now the simulator will start. And as it start over here, we'll see that over here, it would say I'm tapped. Okay, yeah, so that's how the button tap works. But of course, uh, this is a closure once again, the closure, which means that here you could do some calculations and trigger events, uh, print things, uh, go to somewhere else, things like that. Okay, so from here, actually, you want to trigger events. So this part, we're not going to work anymore. Now, since this is a button, actually, we want to work on the button continuously, but it doesn't really look like a button. Now, that's because we have to style it. So the first thing we want to go, the first thing we want to do is to give it a style. So even though it's a button, but it doesn't look like a button, that's because there is no styling around it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, even so if we want to style it, so right after this level, this curly braces over here, we could do background over here, background. Now for background color, we're going to use blue and we'll see it's blue. Now it's too small actually. So here actually we can apply a default padding to it. So here we do padding, whatever the padding it is. Okay, great. Now, well, with this, the button itself is there, but the text is gone. It looks like the text is not there. Actually, it's there. Well, right now we just have background color. So we can apply another color, which is called foreground color. And for this one, we are going to use white. Now here, actually, whatever is inside the button that would be shown as white color. Now the shape itself, I don't like, so we can change the shape. Now here, I'm going to use a clip shape, this one. And inside this, we can just simply mention the shape that we want, and we want a capsule shape. Now with this, our button looks much better. Now, we could also apply style to the text inside this so that it looks bigger. Now here we'd use a system and then I would apply size. Size, I'm gonna apply 28. So it's much bigger now. Okay, so that's the basic button and how it works. Of course, you can have actually a lot of buttons together. Now in that case, how to work with that? Now over here, I'm going to create a new function and I'll call it tab button or it doesn't really matter and I'll pass title to it because I want to create this button dynamically and here it would be a string type and then I'll actually return view from here. So let's go ahead and return view. Okay, now inside this view actually I'm going to copy my whole button over here and uh, then I'm gonna put it here. Okay, great. And after that, inside this, actually, I'm going to call this button. Now, over here, I'm going to call this button. So I'm just going to simply copy this name and put it here. I mean, I'm calling our function, actually, and title. And for title, I'm going to use Chinese over here. Okay, great. Now, of course, it's not reflected over here because now you see that this function, tab button, takes title as a parameter and we are passing to it. So let's go ahead and change over here. So instead of hard coded button, here we could do title. And because this title is passed down here and you can say it's already reflected. Now, actually I want three buttons. So let's go ahead and copy one by one and we'll see that it works. Okay, now over here, I'm going to use Indian and the second one I'm going to over here use Bung like that okay but well these three buttons actually now they're all tappable so we can prove that because each time we tap actually 
we'll see that we are going to print whatever is being there okay I mean the button name that we are going to print all right now I'm going to start my simulator okay now simulator started up now here I click it says Chinese Indian and Bengali so it's working now it doesn't really look good so I'm going to wrap them around using uh, H stack horizontal stack because I want to put them each other next to each other so like this now they would be here horizontally now with this this looks much better okay yes so yeah that's how you go ahead and create button work with the buttons thank you